know what it means to be poor. I know what it means to go three days without a meal. And I always give uh, whatever I can be able to give, not because I have much, but because I know what it means to have nothing. Robert Katende grew up in the slums of Uganda with essentially nothing. He was a carefree boy, but always ensured that all his hardships could never hamper his education. He turned out to be a civil engineer, but always wanted to do something for those kids who were living a similar childhood like him in the slums of Kampala. I started without any money, but I felt like, how can I step in for the people struggling, especially for the children struggling as I did struggle, and see if I can encourage them to persevere and endure no matter what circumstances they face so that they can possibly be the game changer. This was my vision. I was looking at them. They are going to pioneer a new change. They are going to set a new foundation for their families, for their communities. So I strongly do believe that there is a very big correlation uh, between my growing and uh, what I'm doing right now. A chess coach would be far too gross an oversimplification of the enigma that is Robert Katende. Instilling the interest of learning life skills through chess in a place where all people are forced to care about is putting food on their table is nothing short of an unimaginable achievement. Initially, it was a tug of war because uh, people never knew what chess is all about. In fact, even some of the local leaders thought it was gambling and no one knew what chess was all about. But uh, because of the meal we were providing, some of them said, hmm, how come they can even offer food? Perhaps maybe we can send our kids there just to have a meal because other than them starving. From being a civil engineer who worked in NGOs for some extra income, Robert Katende transformed himself to be a father figure to many. Chess is the medium through which need takes a back seat, while confidence, courage, grit and determination come forward. I definitely knew how I could easily integrate the concepts from the game and then be able to integrate them into their day-to-day -day life situations so that they can see themselves as people who are playing chess now on the big board of life. I can confidently now say we've been able to reach out close to 20,000 youths and when it comes to families I think they could go even beyond a uh, thousand families. In Kampala we are operating in six slums and these are all spread around the city and then we have other remote community areas like Gulu, we have Kagadi, we have Ubudaka, we have Hoima. These are distant places almost 200 miles away from the area which are remote. Then in Kenya, we have in Mukuru slums. In the USA, we have started in Batrimo. And thus, while reaching out to slum children, Robert Katende once came across Fiona Muteshi, the child prodigy who turned out to be one of the most successful game changers. Many, many times people think I did find Fiona, but uh, I can say that it is Fiona who found me. Fiona came following uh, her brother because the brother had told her about uh, what we do in our chess program. And uh, the most intriguing of it all that she had been informed how we actually used to have a cup of porridge. And her starving from home without a meal, I think that was one of the captivating factors for her to come and see where does my brother go always to have a cup of porridge. Chess did change Fiona's life, and Fiona's success changed Robert Katende's life. His initiative got a global exposure, and his works reached far and wide. ESPN heard of this story, and then uh, they sent in a journalist to really find out how much of what they had heard was true. 
and then this journalist comes in and he, he was overwhelmed to see the situation in the slums where the children where they sleep and how they were able to get out of those uh unconducive situations and then be able even to hold a gold medal for the country so he wrote this article in the espn magazine and then espn magazine is owned by disney so that's how the whole connection kind of came up and disney chose to do the movie yes that is perhaps the most famous international recognition of robert katende a walt disney movie based on the life of fiona and robert was made by director Meera Nair. Titled as Queen of Kathwe, Robert's role was played by acclaimed actor David Oelowo. David came in Uganda earlier on because they wanted, I thought in my understanding that perhaps he wanted to get a feel of Uganda and see how do people behave and get more familiar with the country. So I spent with him close to three weeks daily. We were working together. I would go in the slums and teach. I would pick him from the hotel. We go to the slums. Little did I know that he was actually trying to study my character. When we went for the movie premiere in, in Canada, and when I saw David, my first question was like, David, you have changed. What happened? It's not you. He said, no, this is me. The other time I was you. Robert's life is an inspiration from nothing to achieving so much and not at all for himself. Robert symbolizes hope and aspiration. Sport is an equalizer and he instilled this belief in his students. His teachings make them strong. They come out from the underprivileged position and celebrate life through chess. Thus, here we are signing off with some golden moments of Robert Cartende and his students.